guys, I'm Tefel and uh, this is a short guide about vector graphics and glyphs in Android Engine 4. In this short uh, video I will show you how you can integrate thousands of free icons uh, for prototyping or your final game project. Uh, so as you can see here I have uh, prepared already integrated into the Unreal Engine 4 uh, those icons and in the first set, which is awesome solid icons, I have 500, almost 500 uh, icons, starting from paper plane, uh, envelope, uh, box, camera, solid camera, some pawns, pieces, chess pieces, uh, check some arrows, up, down, left, right, uh, yeah, uh, arrows, alt, there is a sync, this is even different. Uh, yeah, there is a track, there is a stopwatch, there is a, some plus, minus, there is some map, solid map, uh, there is a house, there is a pencil, there is a person, there is a train, there is a, um, there was a car somewhere, there is a key, etc, etc, yeah, there is a car yeah here yeah camera whatsoever encore so yeah as you can see there are some basketballs uh, batteries <laughs> uh, some volumes at the Sera. so this was a uh, first solid icons set then you have brand icons uh, where you can simply find and use in your project like Amazon uh, YouTube uh, and many many other brands uh, like PayPal, CC, uh, SoundCloud, uh, blah blah blah, GitHub. Okay. And the last one is regular awesome icons, which uh, which is just simple set, some credit cards, folders, also pluses, minuses, banknote, money, mm, lemon whatsoever and trash and as you can see every of those icons uh, it's working perfectly fine with shadows and outlines uh, mostly because this is like like a font uh, where you can when you have simple shape with one color and you can fill rest with with a background or with an outline or shadow so this is uh, working quite nicely and also because this is loseless quality uh, so whenever you resize it, it will still have a really nice, really nice shape and uh, quality. As you can see in the suitcase, it's uh, getting larger, but uh, still it has really nice edges and sharp uh, shape. Uh, it's it's basically because of using vector graphics. So as you can see on the font of the website, I will put a link in the movie description you can find all uh, free icons in those free sets which are solid icons once again regular icons and brand icons and uh, and yeah and when you select one of those let's say a fish you will you will see how it is created it is created from some curves uh, yeah, so there are like four curves here, one curve here, mm, yeah, and that's uh, all information it's needed to remember this shape. So whenever it's scaled up, it is just filling all the pixels around and there is no uh, quality loss. Uh, because normal, when you save image, it will have some pixels, so whenever you shrink it or resize it, uh, scaled up it will lose some quality for sure but not in this case so yeah everything is simple and like I said before and I showed you before this is this is just uh, a plugin in what I'm currently showing so there is a uh, my uh, widget which is uh, awesome widget which has just icon asset and there is a list of 941 elements you can use but uh, but yeah Mm, so I can select from here uh, fast backward whatsoever I can find something uh, uh, fighter jet file etc or I can just look for something audio archive 
uh, heart let's say how many hearts we have we have a solid heart we have heartbeat and we have regular heart which uh, needs to have regular uh, so it will be heart regular heart yeah so everything works uh, as you can see and even if you are scaling this up it's it's still really looking nicely right so we can make this red uh, yeah yeah now we have red heart okay but uh, this is just uh, what what you can expect from the plugin but now we will go to the tutorial where i will show you how you can integrate this font on your own and how you can start using any of those uh, icons uh, which are basically glyphs and you may ask uh, why Unreal Engine is not providing this uh, by default actually Unreal Engine 4 is using this and so when you when you go to the code and you go to editor font glyphs uh, there are a bunch of uh, editor glyphs uh, basically there is also like 1000 elements uh, where Unreal Engine is, 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 is using it and every of those uh, are having some names and this is basically mapping to to some um, uh, to unicode value right so those are unicode values which are basically four characters uh, long for um, signs and uh, this is basically a mapping so this is automatically showed in the text so in your case you have two options Either way you pick, it, it, it's, it's going to be working. Or uh, you want to copy this glyph and paste this into Unreal Engine as a text with specific font. Or you want to uh, define this as a ftext string, which this uh, four characters, which you can also find here. And that's basically what uh, what needs has uh, what have to be done. Okay, so that's basically uh, it for this uh, intro. So let's uh, look into the real tutorial. Okay, so this is completely new project. Uh, I just created a glyph guide uh, version 4.20.3 of Unreal Engine 4. And first thing I would like to do is just importing uh, fonts. This is uh, already downloaded from Font Awesome website uh, font. And as you can see, uh, it is saying that it's Font Awesome 3, uh, 5. 0 0.0.7 and you can look into the license everything is uh, free free to use open source and if you look into the uh, the license itself it will show uh, this uh, creative commons uh, you are free to share adapt remix transform so everything is uh, approved by copy and uh, redistribute so yeah uh, so you can simply use it in your project without any worries <laughs> and yeah uh, after downloading you will get uh, those directories so you can just uh, get those free regular brands free regular and solid and you can just simply drag it uh, to your project and uh, you will be asked about importing those and you have all of those and uh, creating a widget it's simple like this so this will be our new widget I will just create uh, maybe I will just uh, just open the level uh, it's of course here create the widget I will just take it and add to viewport and that's basically uh, what we need uh, that's interesting and inside what I have to do is just placing a text uh, with specific font but we know what font it will be it will be our new font regular and uh, from the sheet uh, I already uh, showed you you can you can find something interesting so let's go to font awesome to the cheat sheet I have this in the bookmarks and uh, select something regular uh, maybe address book let's just copy this copy back 
and that should be basically already working. Uh, this is brands, so you need to select regular one. Yeah, and this is simple like this, and you can just use it like like it is right here, uh, 60 whatsoever, and yeah, you have access to almost 1,000 of uh, vector graphics, and. Uh, we can push this even farther. Uh, so now I will just create a simpler widget, uh, which will be just a C++ class. Uh, so let's find the widget. Uh, and I will create for us, and it will be like icon widget inside Glyph Guide. Mm, it's completely fine. Okay, so this is our widget after compiling and first thing I would like to do is just adding dependencies uh, to the module so it will be uh, slate and in the private dependencies it will be uh, slate core. Uh, let's just go to the header file from, from this widget. Uh, what I would like to have is just uh, in the public space uh, U property, uh, which will be uh, Okay, maybe not using this. Uh, edit anywhere, exactly, category, um, icon or font, because it will be just my font, and it will be um, at slate font info, and uh, just a font. Okay, that's, that should be, should be it. And uh, in the protected, I just need to I just need to uh, implement virtual method, which be just uh, rebuild uh, widget itself, which will return me a uh, short pointer, short reference to the uh, to the widget, and I would like to uh, as a short short pointer, I would like to remember as um, text block widget because that's the widget we will create, and that's my awesome icon. And that's basically everything uh, from here. I can just add some includes for this and this, just to compile. And let's uh, let's create uh, my awesome icon, which is as new as text block. So we have widget created. Now I will set the font, which uh, with our font. And last step is just setting text, which can be basically the same like uh, in editor glyphs, uh, where where it's defined f text from string string, and we need to provide the value of of, of the glyph. So we just mm, take it uh, here text and paste. And uh, having what type of glyph, well, we need to look into our into our uh, cheat sheet, and let's pick one of, of those. And now instead of copying uh, glyph itself, we will just copy Unicode value, and let's take ambulance value, which is this one, and let's paste this here. Of course, you can uh, predefine this. You can create macros with it. You can do a switch or uh, like enum. Uh, selection so whenever you select you you have different icon in editor and that that should basically work simply and now I just need to return awesome icon uh, to shirt reference and that's uh, that should be everything uh, so let's so let's go into the the widget and now uh, in un categorized I should have my icon widget I can just simply drag this uh, into my uh, canvas and yeah uh, we need to specify font which will be my free solid uh, with size let's say 70 why not uh, and the last thing I need to compile yay and there is an ambulance you can even set an outline which should work if you compile <laughs> Yeah, because it's uh, in uh, widget rebuild. But you can uh, synchronize properties, so whenever you change any property, it will also update the look. But yeah, it's, it's just something in addition. So that's how you can uh, use uh, glyphs and vector graphics in Unreal Engine 4. 
Okay, so if you like this short guide, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget uh, to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, check video description about the download link and the reference article. And as always, uh, see you next time.